Welcome back to Children International Family Reunion Virtual Summer Camp. What's a family reunion without family? So this week, my helper is my nephew. Tell him your name and how old you are. I am Aiden and I am seven years old. All right, so Aiden here is seven and he's gonna be working with me. And of course, these past couple weeks, I've really been promoting families cooking together and bonding in the kitchen. And so I've already had my cousin on, Kamari, she was 10 and she was able to go through the recipe and read it. Aiden, he's a little younger, but he's still able to do a lot of those same things. So today, what he's gonna be helping me make is, what are we making today? We are making cranberry peach pops. All right, we're making cranberry peach pops. And so it's basically a popsicle, you know, like the push pops. And so he's gonna help me make that today. And some things I want to remind you of, when you're in the kitchen, you always wanna make sure that you're practicing good hygiene, that you're washing your hands, um, that you're communicating and talking to each other. And remember, this is a time that you're supposed to be spending together and dedicating together. Now, last week we made beef enchiladas and hopefully you guys tried them out and they were good. If you did, make sure you comment below and let me know how they turned out, if you had any substitutions or anything that you did differently. I'm really interested to know how that went. Um, what's the first thing we have to do before we start cooking? Wash our hands, and y'all already know my favorite hand washing song. You ready? All right. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, dun, dun, dun. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Dun, 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 dun. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q R S C U V W X Y and Z. I'm gonna, I am just gonna keep on singing. Cause he is still washing his hands. Dun 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 dun. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Get you a napkin and head back. Dun 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 dun. All right, I'm gonna wash mine. Okay, you gonna sing? You gonna dance? Okay, come on. A B C D E F G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. All right, like I said, you want to make hand washing fun. And yes, I kind of slipped up on the ABCs, but guess what? If you have two or three year olds, they're gonna slip up too. So there's nothing wrong with that. We all make mistakes. Anyway, I do know my ABCs though. So. All right, so now that we've have our hands washed, um, these past couple weeks we have been heavily using the Cooking Matters app. And as I've said in previous videos, if you guys haven't caught on, um, this app is available on Google Play and it has recipes, it has um, nutrition facts, it has meal planners on here. Everything you'll need to make sure that you and your family are eating healthy and making sure that you're including all of those food groups um, or as many as you can into one meal. And so this is the app that we've been using to prepare all of these dishes and I feel like it's a really, really good resource for families especially if you, if you struggle with, hey, what are we gonna eat tonight? Or if you have picky eaters, this has some really good recipes to incorporate that. Aiden sometimes doesn't always eat everything, and so we have to be really creative with him, especially when he comes over to my house. And so he has been trying to get a little better at eating fruits and vegetables, but I know a lot of you at home may have picky eaters, and so this can be a really good guide to help with that. And also cooking in the kitchen together may actually encourage the kids to eat the food that they're preparing. And so this can be a good way for that as well. And so we're gonna go to the Cooking Matters app and I am going to allow Aiden because he's seven, he's old enough to read. And so one of the things that he can do in the kitchen to play a part is read the recipe in the directions. And so the first thing we're gonna do is read the recipe. You ready? Okay, so I'm gonna hand it over to him. He knows how to get there and he's just gonna read what we're gonna put in there. Make sure you use your voice. Two peaches about two cups chopped, one half cup plain yogurt, two cups cranberry juice, eight five ounce paper cups, eight plastic spoons or popsicle sticks, and aluminum. Aluminum. Aluminum foil. Aluminum foil. foil. Yep, got it. All right, and some other things that, um, in most of the videos, I'll provide you guys a lot of substitutions that you can put in your different dishes. So with this, you can really use any juice, you can use any yogurt. I know that says plain yogurt, but I 
I like the vanilla yogurt. And you can use any fruit. If you have children at home or if you have a dairy allergy, I love the silk vanilla. It's made with soy. So it's good for dairy allergy, but if they have a soy allergy, you may want to find another alternative. What we're going to do is go to the directions and Aiden's going to read the first direction for us. Wash and chop peaches. Divide among the eight paper cups. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is chop our peaches. We've already washed them, they're already clean. And so I actually had to YouTube how to get this open because when I first tried to, to cut it, it didn't work for me. So this is the trick that I learned. So Aiden, you're gonna cut with me. So you're gonna start and you're gonna cut down the middle. Remember how we practice holding a knife? Okay, so turn to the side here. And then turn. Yep, hold it, use your claw, or you can hold it like this. Yep, don't put your fingertips in the way, yep. There you go. You're gonna make sure you make a claw. And then you just cut all the way around, because there's a seed in the middle of that. All right, watch your fingertips. And remember, we are using the safety knives. Um, I do discourage um, kids using the butcher knives, especially if they are um, not supervised kids. I really don't want you guys cooking at home by yourselves um, unless you have permission, okay? All right, you got it? Okay, and so what you're gonna do to get this, because peaches are so moist and juicy in the middle, um, it's kind of hard, they get smushed. And so you wanna twist it, and there's some juice that's gonna come out, but that's gonna disconnect it from that core. Can you get it? So twist it. Okay, so take your hand, so take it like this. Where's your cut? Where's your cut? Okay, so your cut is like that. So put it, yep, like that, and now try to twist it. Almost. Uh-oh. That's all right. And listen, you guys, expect the mess. Let me see. Can I see it? Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, we demolished this peach. <laughs> but it's okay, we have extras. And like I always say, prepare to make a mess, prepare for mistakes, prepare for stuff to happen. That just happens when you're working with kids. So we're gonna rinse a different one and let's try that one, okay? And I'm gonna let you try it again because I want you to get it because I know you can. All right, so remember, cut down the middle all the way in a circle. Try to make sure it's straight. Yep, good job. And parents, it's really important to be encouraging, especially if this is the first or second time. Um, we're all learning. Okay, so make sure you line it up. You see where that line is? So bring it back over to that line. Yep, just right there. And take it all the way up. Mm -hmm. Good job. Now, are you all the way down to the seed? Can you feel the seed under the knife? Yep, let me make sure you went all the way down. I'm still gonna let you twist it, but let me make sure you cut all the way down. Okay, now I want you to try to twist it. Try not to smoosh down, just, yep, you see how it's moving? So twist it off. Good job! See, you can do it. Never give up. Okay. <laughs> okay, so for the next part, I'm gonna let you do this one as well. So remember, when you have a side with the seat, turn it down. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut around, but make sure that knife goes all the way down to the seed, okay? Yep, make sure you fold those fingers, tuck those fingers in, and then take the knife all the way down to the center, to the seed. Yep, and make sure you go all the way down from the top to the bottom because we're getting ready to pull this apart, okay? Got it? All right, so the next thing you wanna do is peel it apart. And then that should pop right off of that seed. And where you just made your cut, put your thumbs in and then pull that apart right there. Good job. All right, you got it. So finish pulling that apart. And then you should be able to pop that seed out. Use your fingers to pop that seed out. Now that we have these, we have to slice this into eight pieces. Yes, yeah, a little messy, it's all right. <laughs> so take one of your slices and remember, chop it in half, slice it in half. Use your finger, make sure you tuck those fingers in, okay? All right, and then we're gonna do that again to the smaller piece.
Make sure you tuck those, yep, tuck those fingers in. I always want to protect your fingers when you're cutting, you guys. That'll work. We'll, we'll work with that one. Divide among the cups. So put two peaches in each of those cups. And I'm gonna do the same for mine. All right, so what's the next thing we're supposed to do? Measure yogurt and place in a medium bowl. All right, do you remember how much yogurt we were supposed to put in? Half a cup. Okay, all right, so grab the yogurt. Two cups of cranberry juice. All right, that's one. Good, oh, perfect. Once you get ready to pour it, sometimes the liquid runs to the back. Um, if you have a funnel or if you have a measuring cup that's big enough to hold the yogurt and the cranberry juice or whatever juice you use, that may be wise. What I ended up doing was pouring this liquid back into the measuring cup and then putting it back into the cups. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, it may be a mess. Like I said, plan for a mess. It's okay, stuff happens. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and put aluminum foil. The aluminum foil is solely used to hold the popsicle sticks up. If you don't have popsicle sticks, you can use a plastic spoon. And once you put the aluminum foil on, once you put the aluminum foil on, you can just kind of rub a hole and stick it like that. Cover the peaches then that'll be enough liquid. And so it's very easy to measure out. Now, depending on how much liquid you use, it does define the shape. Okay. All right, and so I am going to put these in the freezer. These need to freeze for up to four hours. So if you know that this is something that you and your kids you wanna snack on for the night after dinner, it may be wise to put it on um, around two or three, depending on what time you decide to have dinner each night. If not, if you wanna wait, um, do them one day before and have them the next day, that'll be perfectly fine. And so we're gonna get these in the freezer. All right, so since it's been four hours, we are going to take our cranberry pops out and see how they taste. So if you do have the five ounce cups, these are paper cups. You can push, well, you should be able to push from the, oops, accidents happen. <laughs> but we're still gonna rock with it. All right, can you get yours? Yours may go flying across the table like mine. <laughs> make sure you give out a warning and make sure no one's standing in front of you before you pop these things out. You need some help or you're okay. If you can't get it popped out, you can always peel the paper back. Voila, and this is what they look like. So there you have a cranberry peach pop. You want to taste it? Okay, ready? That actually tastes really good. You like it? Sure? All right. So again, we want to thank you for joining us for our CI family reunion. It has been a great four weeks and hopefully we'll be able to continue to do this even after just to keep the families engaged with each other. Remember, this week is the last week, but we still have our giveaway. So if you're interested in um, being included in that giveaway, make sure you click on the link below to fill out the survey and provide the information necessary. Also, there will still be a Facebook Live that's gonna happen this afternoon. Um, and just make sure that you guys stay in touch with us. Thanks. <laughs> 
बाय